اهلا بكم My talk today will be about how to describe a fracture. Fracture is a disruption in all or part of the cortex of a bone. If all, it is complete fracture. If part only of the cortex, it is incomplete fracture. Incomplete fractures are group of fractures that predominantly occur in long bones of pediatric patients. Two types we have either a green stack fracture or torus fracture. Green stack fracture is incomplete fracture of long bones through one cortex and no disruption of the other part of the cortex, as you see in this image. Torus fracture is also known as buckling fracture. It is incomplete fracture of the shaft of a long bone with no distinct fracture lines, but only bulging or angulation of the cortex as you see in this image. Now how fractures are described? Fractures are described according to four things. Direction of the fracture line, the relationship of the fragments, the number of fragments, and the relation to the adjacent joint. Starting with the direction of fracture line. It is either transverse fracture, oblique fracture, longitudinal fracture, or spiral fracture. Transverse fracture, I mean perpendicular to the long axis of the bone, as you see in this image, and also in this image. Oblique fracture, as you see, in this image and also in this image. Longitudinal fracture along the longitudinal axis of the bone as you see in this image. Spiral fracture as you see in this image. So this is regarding the direction of fracture line. Coming to the relationship of the fragments. By the relationship of one fracture fragment to another, there may be either displacement or angulation or shortening or rotation. Put in your mind that most fractures display more than one of these abnormalities of position. I mean, you can find displacement and rotation, angulation with rotation, shortening with displacement, I mean we can find more than one abnormality regarding the relationship of one fragment to another. By convention, abnormalities of position describe the relationship of the distal fracture fragment relative to the proximal fragment. I mean, displacement of the distal bony fragment, angulation of the distal bony fragment, not the proximal fragment. This is example for displacement. As you see in this image, displacement describes the amount of offset of the distal fracture fragment relative to the proximal one, as you see in this image. There is lateral displacement of what? Okay, lateral displacement of the distal femoral fracture fragment, as you see. Angulation means the angle away from the normal that the distal fragment makes with the proximal one. In this case, the distal fragment is angulated medially, as you see. Regarding shortening, shortening is overlapping of the ends of the fracture fragments, as you see here. Shortening is usually described by the number of centimeter of overlap, as you see here. There is also medial displacement, as you see. Rotation almost always involves long bones like humerus and femur. How can you diagnose a rotation? Look at this image. The knee joint here is in anteroposterior position, points forward, while the ankle is pointing lateral, as you see. Now we finish the direction of the fractal line and the relationship of the fragments. Coming now to the number of fragments. According to the number of fragments, the fracture is either two fragments only and it's known as simple fracture 
or more than two fragments and is called comminuted fracture, as you see in this image and in this image. This is simple fracture, two fragments. This is comminuted fracture, more than two fragments. The last item is the relation to the adjacent joint. Fracture is either intra-articular, as you see in this image, or extra-articular, as you see in this image. So let us summarize our talk. Fractures are described according to the direction of the fracture line, either transverse, oblique, longitudinal, or spiral, and according to the relationship of the fragments, I mean displacement, angulation, shortening, or rotation, and according to the number of fragments, either simple or comminuted, and according to the relation with the adjacent joint, either intra-articular or extra-articular. Thank you very much.